Hello and welcome to another how to video all about Xero and in today's topic it is going through bank reconciliations and how to process a refund in Xero. So diving straight in, I'm using the demo company today. Uh, just for the example, we have got this invoice 1015 open. Um, we've had a discussion with our customer quantum consultants and we've come to the conclusion that we're going to be refunding them the whole um, invoice amount of 1,320. Uh, this can work for part refund. So say we came to the conclusion we're only refunding them $300. Um, whatever it might be, this is the process that we recommend using. So now we have the amount. We've gone ahead into our online banking and processed the, the payment, uh, which obviously then flows through to your bank reconciliation. So this is the most recent payment. So I'm just going to go down to our end page. And as you can see here, we've got the refund that we've sent to Quantum Consultants of the full about 1,320. But what now? What do we do? How do we reconcile this transaction? So what we recommend doing is actually going over um, into invoices. So just from your business tab, invoice. And what we're going to do is under the invoices, so important that we're under the invoice section, we're going to create a new credit note. So this new credit note allows you to process a refund. Um, it also allows you to hold this detail um, on this con contacts file within Xero. So you can always go back and look at it for whatever reason. So again, we're going to find quantum consultants. Um, the date, it's either today's date or maybe the date that you uh, made the transaction, but keeping it today's date um, for the sake of this example, which happens to match the date here. So reference number, it's already got, or it's got the credit note number, but what I might do for the reference number is actually just put in here and go refund just so then if I have to use the search function within zero I can find this invoice number very quickly and I can quickly distinguish that it's a refund similar to what we're going to do here we're going to go refund of invoice this and this is where you put in the information that you're refunding so I like to keep it um, pretty much identical to the invoice here so for example we've got four at the unit price of 300 and really important that we pick up the exact same sales account that it's going to. So then it's going to offset this sale um, and your profit and loss is going to be correct because obviously we're no longer capturing this amount of money in our sales profit and loss. Uh, so we need to decrease it by this amount as well. So sales account, make sure that the tax rate is the same, which it should be. Um, and if you use tracking categories, just be mindful if you had a tracking category originally selected, you then obviously want to do the same here as well. So before we go ahead and click approve, really double check that this amount here does match the amount that you're refunding, which it does in this scenario. So I'm gonna go ahead and approve that. Now, if I was to refresh my screen here and go back to that transaction on the last page, Usually when it comes to invoices and bills, we can use the nice match or find a match feature. Um, and what we can do just to prove it, uh, we can search by the reference, even show received items. It's actually not gonna pick this up. Um, for whatever reason, Xero likes credit notes to be manually um, marked as paid, which we're gonna go ahead and do now. So for example, this was made physically on the 3rd of February. So we're gonna put in 3rd of Feb. And it was paid from the main business bank account, making sure you do select the correct bank account. Otherwise, again, it's not going to help you reconcile it in your bank correct screen. And then we're going to add refund. This now marks the credit note as paid. So as you can see, there's no remaining credit. But now we obviously have to still match this transaction um, to that credit note. So again, refreshing the screen. So by refreshing, I literally just click reconcile. Go back to my end page to find that transaction. And down the bottom here, you can see it's already um, got that nice green match, which is what we like to see. And obviously, as always, when you're reconciling, just double check that the transaction, obviously, from your online banking actually matches what you're telling it to go to in zero, which it does because we know we just set this up. It's two quantum consultants, and that's who we've refunded. Once we hit OK, the refund is now marked in zero. That should be a nice and easy process for you to follow. Um, but as always, um, please do remember to like and subscribe. We have a lot of other great how-to videos for Zero, But as you can see, we've got a lot of other great content out there, whether it's um, financial or business related as well. 
if you have any questions on how to process refunds within Xero, more than happy for you to reach out to us at Smart Business Solutions, or if you have any other questions, um, we'd help with there too. Thank you.